Malayam hari lain ada. Hari lain ada ni. Mana? Eh, kami dah sala, sala. 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 Okay. So this is called sala. I think in Ethiopia. Ah, okay. Yeah. This is sala. Sala. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Bernard Joseph, and I'm the content creator for Bernard TV YouTube channel. If you are the first time viewer, I want to say thank you so much for passing by. I really love you so much, guys. And please remember to turn to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. In our today edition, we are right at the presidential palace, which also happens to be the Unity Park right here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And guys, we want to go and check and see for ourselves exactly what is inside the presidential palace. However, question of the day. How would you feel if you're given such a biggest honor to go and take a look at the presidential palace and see for yourself exactly what is inside the palace? Oh, guys, please answer this in the comment section below. And I'm so glad for my all viewers, those who have always been consistently watching my videos. I love you so much. Continue doing that for us and also call on many to watch our contents and let's continue watching the video. My hands, I have the tour guide. This is the map that shows you exactly what and where you are supposed to go and how you're supposed to go. However, there are places that we have been restricted, places that we cannot be able to enter to, and there are places that requires an extra ticket for you to get in. There, you also have to pay a different amount of money. Therefore, in our entrance, we have to pay an amount of about $10 for nationals. If you're an Ethiopian, you pay about ten dollars, which is I mean equivalent in bird about 30, 30 I mean three hundred bird. Uh, and then when you are not an Ethiopian, you pay about eight hundred bird. That's in in twenty dollars right equivalence. However, today let me take you out, guys. One and so, guys, on a special note, please, when coming over here, you should carry your school ID. It can be school ID for national, so it can be your nationality ID which is also some of the requirements that are needed right at the gate. And if you are uh, a foreign national, you have to come with your passport, a valid visa, so you can be able to have access right to the, to, to, to the park. Therefore, let's enjoy the video. Let me know your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below. And right away, let's get into it. headed right to one of the sites and we're going to show you exactly the oldest car the car that uh, uh, Haile Selassie used during his time during his reign as as the king of Ethiopia by then and this car it says to be one of the oldest cars okay one of the oldest cars here let me let me take you right and let's see exactly what how it looks like wow hello salam no Allah. And so guys, let me turn around. So you see the car right behind me is the oldest car that uh, Haile Selassie used during his time. And I think it's really unique. It looks really nice. Let me take you around. Let me give you a view of it. So guys, you can see the car right there. One of the oldest of all time. <laughs> This car is one of the oldest, the oldest of all time. I think it's really in good condition. It must be a walking car. Wow, amazing. So guys, what, what? just give me a thought, give me a thought, give me a thought in the comment section below. Let me know exactly what you think about this car. The oldest car of all time where the king of Ethiopia used in the 1960s, right? In the 1960s, it's really, really, really amazing. So let me take you around. This is for this. Let me take you to the next spot. It's really huge. It says it takes, it can take about one hour and 30 minutes to know exactly every point right in this place. Let me see if we can really spend that much time right in this place and have some fun right inside the palace. Oh my goodness. It's amazing, right?
let me take you around and let's see what we got right inside it wow let's let's read this it says ethiopia faith legend and governments wow amazing so and uh this is i think this is the order of the building you have the government side as you can see right there you have the government side you have the throne hall and then you have faith and then you have legend let me go right into it and see and so guys don't be afraid to pause the video and watch every little bit of it if you want to clarify some stuff as i will take you in and uh let's just take a look at what we get right inside the throne house which is the hall as well thank you let's get into it let's see what we got here this is this is one of the courts that i think uh, the king used during his time and then uh let's see what we have right down here what the writings are the writing says is what a clock and hard wall by Emperor Haile Selassie, the first while addressing the League of Nations on June 30th, 1936, Geneva. Wow. This was the cloth he used when he addressed the League of Nations during that time, 1936. Yeah. Let me see what this crown says. The crown says it is what Emperor. Hilo Selassie, the first crown. First crown. Okay, this was his first crown he wore. Amazing, look at this castle. And this used to be the heart of Emperor Menelik II. Heart, this is his heart. The monument of Emperor Hilo Selassie I. This is the monument built in honor of him. It pretty much is asking like the guy, like the man, like the king himself. It's really amazing. And I'm so glad to see this place. What they say on the faith sites. And so guys, this is the faith Menelik, Menelik, Menelik first return to Ethiopia. Okay. And this is on the government side. I think this is the government side. process of building the modern state house this is all what it is it's a long story you can pause the video and then go through it
This is the gate, this is the way to the, to the zoo, right? That you can see Unity Park Zoo. So let's get there and see what we got. What animals we are first. Okay. I'm really feeling so much so much uh inspired by these place right here because uh so much you know there's really a lot for us to to uh, to discover here and so let's get to ourselves to the aquatic this is what they say aquatic entrance let's see Also have some turkeys right here. It's amazing. So guys on a special note let me know your thoughts your comments in the comment section below and how do you think about this video how do you think what comes in your mind as seeing this video and what we really have right in this country and in this city so guys we love you so much i can't really wait to see you telling me all your thoughts and uh, your comments in the comment section below and so this behind me happens to be the harara i think the harara monuments and uh, their cultural uh, you know statues or you know statues or stuff like that and so let me know your thoughts that's basic for me and then as we bring this video to the end let me take you around to the black lion because we couldn't be able to see it because i was at first afraid you know i was afraid but then uh, i was given hope that there's nothing nothing is wrong with it so 
I'm gonna take you to the Black Lion and then that will bring us to the closing of this video. Therefore, just this is for the Oromia region and this is their cultural uh, these are cultural monuments, Oromia region. This is what you see right there. All cultures and traditions all depicted in this park right there. So let me take you right inside and show you what we have right here. behind us is the lions the black lions then and so uh since you haven't seen the first one we want to see this one i was first at the beginning i was afraid about my safety but then i asked the security and they told me that there's nothing wrong with it we can easily we can just go over visit it and there's nothing i mean like we are security secured so i'm gonna go there and then we'll see if we can find the big boy right in his cage if we get it well and good if we never get it know that there is a black lion right here so let's go right there and then let's take a look at it let's go okay so guys we are right inside the den we are going i want to take a look at the big boy himself is he there well i'm good this happens to be my first encounter first to first with the lion and, uh, it's really amazing huh Wow. It's really amazing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the inside, but it's really unique. You can look at it right there. 